Hello everyone, wanted to give you a tech tip today about the engagement category and assignments that we're required to put in our gradebook. Um, there's an easy way of using the comment bank and adding your own comment so that you don't have to copy and paste or retype everything in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here if you go to Power Teacher Pro. Over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see settings and you're gonna to go to comment bank. And what you'll notice on comment bank is that you have my comments and you have district comments. The district comments has contact and COVID. Okay, so you're gonna um, use that as your comment. Um, and then you have stars here that you can either do or undo in favorite. I like to have these two going, but I'm gonna to go to my comments and I'm going to add. And under code, I'm going to create one that says contact. I want it to be the same as the district. It has a code uh, requirement here. So this one has to be, you don't have to fill this one in. Um, but what I also am gonna do is I'm gonna put contact here. Okay, and then I wanna use smart text. I wanna do the kid or the student's first name. So it's gonna pull that information from that particular student's uh, uh, sheet. Okay, so first name, and then I created uh, this. It says was not engaged in class today, sent an email to parents so that I know that that was uh, done. I press save, and now I have a starred favorite for um, this comment. So I can use that over and over again. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to my score sheet and I will um, add a new assignment. And I'm going to make this assignment in periods one, two, and three, since I had them today. Um, I'm gonna to name this fake um, because I wanna know that um, I need to get rid of it after this video. And then engagement is the category we're supposed to use. I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to press save. Okay, and it's gonna ask me if I wanna score that assignment. Now, teachers are doing this a different way. It just depends on how you're doing it. Some people are putting check marks as collected, some are not, um, but it's all up to you as far as what you wanna do with this assignment. Um, if you don't want it to be published so the student can't see it, if you come up here to published, I went to edit assignment over here on the side, and then uh, I put publish and I want it to never be published so the students don't actually see it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in the box and if I'm gonna collect it, I can put collect and fill all the way down. Okay, if you're putting in a grade here for an assignment, you can do that as well. That's not what I'm trying to show you. I'm just trying to show you how to do the comments. So let's say that this student um, was not engaged today. Okay, I'm gonna take off the collected. Okay, and uh, maybe uh, this student here. Okay, so of those, three of them were not. I'm gonna click on this student here. I'm gonna go up to the top to comment and you'll notice that I wanna do show comment bank, okay? Now you can see down here that there are different categories, okay? You can either do district comments, which I think it defaults to, or you can do my comments, okay? And then what I'm gonna do for that student is I'm going to click on this plus and it's gonna put that contact in for that student, okay? And what you'll notice, and you can't see because it's blurred out, but it says contact, it has the student's actual name from that line, was not engaged in class today. Sent an email to parents, okay? And I'm gonna do that for each of the students that I clicked off, okay? I'm gonna do this one here, um, and I'm just gonna put a plus, and I'm gonna put a plus, and now they all have a comment for that day. Okay, this is, um, I think, an easy way of doing it. It uh, saves it for you, and it takes care of the issue of you trying to type in or copy and paste every time. Okay, thanks for watching.